to try and find clues to remove the eye glass. Explore the room. Am I free? Am I free to move around the cabin now? I'm wondering what this what is this dark thing do you think? I want to hope that it's Ivy and I just can't click on it. Let's look at this letter. Or we'll pick up another object. Perfect. Love to see it. Letter. 23rd October, 1883. Mr. Rigby. Suffice it to say, and this, I, I just pictured it. I'm gonna, I should do some clacking. Mr. Rigby. Suffice it to say that I do not share my colleague's faith in your character. Were it up to me, I should not engage a man of such low breeding and even lower station as yourself. The very thought of taking a grave robber, in, grave robber into our service chills my stomach. But as Mr. de Montfaucon Mont 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 is fond of saying, Needs must as the devil drives. I actually low-key love that saying, and I have definitely looked up its origins before. Um, 10 out of 10. It falls to me, then, to brief you in your ungodly task. Okay, thank you for that. As you should be well aware, you shall only be paid upon your successful return with the artifact. Should you find yourself having any ideas otherwise, I must stress to you that while the artifact is of enormous value, it is only of value within a certain small community of researchers. It is not for the eyes or hands of an uneducated man such as yourself. I unconditionally demand that you do not interact with the object in any way. Don't even touch it. Don't even look at it. Especially don't look at it with that eyepiece that I know you have. It might prove incredibly dangerous for you to do so. It is an instrument of great power. I should not be interfered with by inferior minds such as yourself and your colleagues and the ghosts that haunt this place. 1833, 23rd of October. That might all be important and or relevant. I didn't mean to do that. Alright, here we go. What's this? What's this? I mean, these are obviously things, but... Can I click on it? That's the different question. Let's look at the room. What's this over here in the corner? I mean, there's a bit of light, like, reflecting off something. Alright. That was the letter that we read. Yep. Um, fascinating. It just so happens to what your possibly great surprise that I have two such objects. Yep. And then I have that one too. Would anyone actually play this game without playing the first one? I'm not entirely sure. I'm gonna see the rest of this. Hmm? Oh Sesswin. Se swin. That's gonna be directions. S E S W N. That's the right number of letters too in that centerpiece. What does this do? I can't. Okay. Just got some weird symbols around it. That's cool. Roy T O then. Let's go into here. Just move this all over the place. Oh, there's a there's a big opening too. Strange brass here. This looks like it belongs somewhere. Oh, I can't move these anymore. Well, what do I do with the small opening then? Nothing. Is it just to show you that you know there was a strange brass sphere there? I'm gonna look at this thing. This looks detachable. The base looks detachable, but not by hand. Oh my god, let me turn the object. Okay. Looks like lips. <laughs> you know what this reminds me of? It reminds me of the uh, Persona 5. The, uh, um, 
the licky monsters at the beginning. I cannot remember their names. I mean, they're shadows, but I don't remember what what shadows in particular they were. Can we just put it in? Oh boy, that's not creepy at all. <laughs> 